Welcome to Minnesota Fats. I'm your host, Patrick. Today, we are just north of Nashville, and we're going to go to Jay's Family Restaurant. Never been? Let's try them out. I learned something today. KFC doesn't just grow their chickens. They make them by hand. Coconut cream pie. Water, please. So here we have Western omelet with the home fries and the toast. I had the two pork tenderloins with eggs medium, gravy, some biscuits. Oh gosh, that's some that's some eating there. That's well past tense. Eating. That's some eating there. Um, right off the bat, as soon as we get in the car, I'm like, what do you think? And she said straight out, there's no, I can't think of any reason why it wouldn't be a 10. So she enjoyed that omelet. Um, the toast, she, you know, and it, she's not a bread girl. I've said this time and time, but the toast, she said, probably the best toast that she's ever had. Now, normally, you know, you get like the soggy, limp toast, and it's, or else it's colder than, you know, the outdoor temperature, and it's perfect. It's perfect. Um... I had the, the, the calm pork tenderloins back home, they're, they're pork chops. Same thing, it's the same. Anyway, those were tender, juicy. Um, I split a biscuit, laid it down, hopped the eggs on top and then put gravy over it. Um, so that's how I ate my eggs and stuff. That was really good as well. Uh, Probably the best gravy I've had down south was from here. About the only thing I was missing was it could have used more sausage chunks in the gravy, but the the flavor was really, really good. Um, probably one of the better breakfasts I've had down here too. So I'm, I'm going to say nine and a half. It was it was good. I liked it. If I'm ever in this part of town again, I'm definitely coming here. And sadly, hopefully, everybody is okay. There's a big accident on the interstate. It's got a two-hour delay. So I just kind of eyeballed quick. It's basically another blue sign thing off the side of the road, and it said food. And I'm like, if we got a two-hour delay, we may as well eat now. And uh, so hopefully 
prayers go out to the family and everybody involved that everybody's all right. Generally, if it's that big of a delay, it's not good. But uh, so just by chance, we happen to come across this place. Sometimes that's just the best way to go. Oh, you folks have a very wonderful week. Ooh, stay tuned. I, I may have some snippets here of a showboat or something going on after my little credit thing. So, done that on the last couple videos. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. It costs you guys nothing. Uh, it just helps the algorithms with me. I'd greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful week, and may God bless. What? They want that thing to stay. Those cables are for seismographs. a bunch of moss or something. Oh, you're good. I got it.
So you are currently in one of the largest singular K rooms open to the public in the eastern United States. From that staircase you came up on, across to this wall here on the other side, is about 300 feet across. From the ceiling to the creek bed all the way down below, it's also about 300 feet tall. We're sitting halfway up here on this 150 foot ledge. From this farthest end of the room behind you guys, across to that far side across the room, is about 400 feet across, the length of a football field. Now if it doesn't look that way, it's because you have a dome-shaped ceiling and a V-shaped floor. That draws the room in on itself, creates an optical illusion, makes it look smaller in here than it really is to the naked eye. On your phone screens, those stalagmites, things across the room will call, probably end up looking a lot farther away. You guys are also at your deepest point along the tour. You are under the peak of Little Mountain right now. You can actually see that from the parking lot when you leave today. You're about 600 feet below ground from where you're sitting right now. Now that I have you guys right where I want you, <laughs> I am going to be turning off all of the lights in here. Have a few rules for lights out, everyone. At this point, uh, please do not get up or come off the wall and start running towards the ledge right there. Uh, just stay put, don't start busting and move across your dance floor. This is a two-tier waterfall. It goes up 210 feet. All the way up. <laughs> 